New stats out today in the real estate industry. Let me start by saying if I actually knew 100% what was going to happen, I'd either be buying housing or I'd be shorting. But let's give it a go. There are stats out from Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation. They say starts went, up, went down to 156,000 in March, and that's way off from the 190 the month before, and even further from what analysts were expecting at 192. Of course, it's the spring market, so everybody's expect, got their own opinion what's going to happen next. And if you talk to the real estate industry, lots of good things happening next. They say in the last three weeks of the spring, yes, the spring arrived, it doesn't feel like it, but it has arrived, things picked up in the market. They say that two-story houses, 5.2% increase. Not bad. Even condos up 2.5%. You go back to the naysayers in the industry, the capital economics groups, and they say this is just the beginning of a disaster about to happen. They'll say we're building way too many houses right now. We only need 175,000 on an annual basis and we're, we were building 190. Capital Economics is now saying we could be down to 150 by 2015. There's going to be a glut of housing then and nobody out there to buy them. Which side do you want to believe? There was a Genworth Canada poll, take it for what it's worth because it comes from somebody that underwrites mortgage, mortgages. They say 64% of consumers expect a price increase in the next 12 months. That's up from a year ago when only 58% expected that. So you've got the two sides arguing on who's right. What's going to happen? Only time will tell.